welcome to the Bailey how-to videos and in this video we're discussing the electrical systems in your caravan. Now all modern caravans have 230 volt and 12 volt systems and we'll be discussing how both systems work, how to use your control panel and the basic steps to follow when arriving on site. That's whether you've booked a pitch with an electric hookup or whether you're going off grid. So if you've booked a pitch with an electric hookup, you will have a cable that connects your caravan to the bollard. Now it's worth remembering to connect your caravan first before you turn on the bollard. Now to do that, you just lift up the cover, pull the flat back and slot into place. And then the other end of the cable plugs into the bollard. It's worth noting that some bollards need you to turn it in a clockwise direction to turn it on. Also, make sure that your cable is unraveled completely before we move inside. Now, if you haven't booked a pitch with an electric hookup, you'll be relying on the caravan's 12 volt system. But rest assured, most of the systems in your caravan will still work and they are designed to do so. It's worth noting though, that these will be powered from your leisure battery. So it's worth charging this up uh, before you leave. Now this can be done uh, simply by plugging in uh, the, the electric hookup lead into your caravan as your caravan will have a built-in battery charger. Another option is to have a solar panel. Now these are normally roof mounted and these will trickle charge your battery. Um, also worth noting, just check your gas levels because if you're on a 12 volt only weekend or week away, uh, things like your fridge, your oven, um, they will all be powered by gas, ignited by your 12 volt electrics. Now caravans are designed to be used on 12 volt alone and in this particular Phoenix, now that I'm in, the only thing that won't work is the microwave and the three pin sockets. Apart from that, all your lights, your loo, your cooker, your fridge, they will all work, even the USB points that are tucked away in the lights. So next we're gonna talk about the control panel and it's worth noting that we're in a Phoenix at the moment, so your control panel may vary depending on what model you have. Now the first switch is the big control panel with a zero on a one, turning on supplies power to all of your appliances. Below this is the main light switch. Now, although this supplies power to all of the lights, it's worth noting that each light can be turned on and off independently. And on this particular caravan, the lights that come with the USB will also be powered. Next to that switch is the awning light switch. Now this will illuminate the light above your door or in the awning if you have one. And finally, we have the water pump switch. Now this supplies power to the water pump that goes in your aqua roll, and this will obviously deliver water to your taps. There is a small green light above it, and when that light is illuminated, that means the pump is working. Now there is also a battery voltage switch here. If you press the battery switch, you will get a reading. Now we have 13 and a half volts at the moment. We have been using the mover and a fully charged battery is normally about 13.8. So that covers the power to your caravan from a 230 volt hookup to a 12 volt supply. You are now ready for your holiday.